Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and it's time to venture back into Curse City for the second and final expansion for the game. The new expansion has just been revealed on the Warhammer community site, so let's take a look at all the info in the article and break down all the contents of the box, and I'm sure you can guess there's no miniatures in this expansion either. That was a huge surprise with the first expansion, kind of split the room. Some people didn't mind because they had the models already, but a lot of people weren't that happy. So let's see what everyone feels about Nemesis. Looking forward to reading the comments. I'm not playing Curse City at all now, and so I thought, do I make a video or not? But there was quite a few people who were interested in the expansion previously, so I thought I should cover it here um, because you might want to get this expansion. So good to know what you can expect from it. But if you're liking it and you would like to order a copy, please check out Firestorm Games. They're the sponsor of my channel, so a big thanks to them. I'll put a link in the description down below that'll take you to their website where you can save up to 20% on all your hobby products, loads of games, not just Warhammer. And if you can make it to any of their shops, especially Cardiff, what an awesome store, then I can highly recommend it. Right, let's have a look at this expansion then. So this is Cursed City Nemesis, the second and final expansion for Warhammer Quest Cursed City. And so we're back in Ulfenkarn, and our mission in this expansion would be to save the survivors enclave of Haven from the returned Radikar the Wolf. The expansion is going to be very similar to the previous one. You're going to get the quest book with all the rules and the narrative that you need to play out the different quests for the game. There's going to be 25 tokens and counters, and that includes some new sinkhole tokens, apparently. Now, these are going to cause extra damage to your heroes and hostiles, too. And there's also going to be 19 additional cards to use in your games. The article tells us that some of the original models from the Curse City box set could be making another appearance. So look out for Torgilius the Chamberlain, the Watch Captain Halgrim, Gorslav the Gravekeeper and others. So, yeah, they could be turning up. But the expansion is mostly focused on hunting down some different units. And these are going to include the White King, the Necromancer, Graveguard, Vargeists and Direwolves. So interested in see the miniatures there that are going to be featured. And if you're a Soulblight Gravelords collector, then there's a good chance you're going to be attracted to this game. And therefore you're going to have those models already. So, you know, it's not going to be too much of an issue to buy the expansion, especially if you like Curse City, you want the expansion, you've got the models, it's a no brainer. But if you don't have any of the models, um, then, you know, again, it's going to be an expensive situation to pick up the models needed to play the actual expansion. So I think this is certainly aimed at Soulblight Gravelord fans and those who've already bought the models. And of course, you do need the Curse City game itself, the main box set, to be able to play any of these expansions as well, because all the rules for actually playing the game are going to be included there. But that's it, the final expansion, the second one. We all thought there was going to be a lot more, especially when we saw images like this. And on those images, if we focus in on this next slide, you can see you've got all the different um, like logos there. And... It was almost as if each one was going to be an expansion of some kind and all those models we saw released, like the two witch hunters, they were going to be part of the different expansions. But maybe that was never the plan or maybe it was and it's just been binned now and they've just getting this second expansion out and then calling it a day and putting an end to Cursed City. But I think having a second expansion with no miniatures is certainly going to be the final nail in the coffin. All up, a weird ending to Curse City, which really has been cursed from day one. So that's it. That's the end. Maybe we'll get another article about this expansion before it actually releases. It's probably going to be available to pre-order in a week or two. So I don't think we'll have long to wait for this one. But let me know what you think about this expansion. Are you happy with it? Do you like playing Soulblight Gravelord so you've got the models already? Or do you think those models should be included and the expansions designed around them? Let me know in the comments section below. Looking forward to reading your comments as always. And a big thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too to join me here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>